Today we've got something pretty cool. We are going to be checking out what the future of driving games could look like. And the Fortnite team used those features to ship Battle Royale Chapter 4. At the same time, Jacob over there and the team at Quixel... This is from Epic Games and Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 5.2. ...environments, as well as testing out the latest functionality that we've been building for Unreal Engine. So, Jacob's here with us today in the... Photo Unreal Real Editor, Foliage Environments, thanks to Fortnite. This is going to be good. to do that than off-roading? And what better way to off-road than in a Rivian R1T? Oof. Now, Rivian uses Unreal to power their instrument cluster, including 3D visualization of their vehicles. So we worked with them to bring the R1T to life in this experience. Let's head on out, Jacob. Sure thing, on my way. All right. So we're building the tools for interactive and dynamic The way the light world. was bouncing off the rock. So here we have chaos physics simulating rocks that tumble as we drive over them. Leaves bend out of the way, and we also added some real-time fluid simulation. We worked with the team at Rivian to set up Unreal's Chaos Vehicle model to simulate the suspension so of the truck good, and how the electric motors drive each individual wheel. Chaos also simulates how the tires compress and deform, and MetaSounds enabled the team to precisely resynthesize the sounds of the electric motors and mix them with the ambisonics of the jungle. Everything from the movement of the suspension to the individual torque of each the tire to the way that the, the tires interact with the environment the and bend and morph. One million polygons that were able to render in real time thanks to Nanite. Now, the Rivian not only looks incredibly realistic because of and it's all Nanite, rendering in real time, but also its materials. And today, we're introducing Substrate, oh. our new material framework. This looks, I, I, I don't know half of these words, but this, this looks absolutely incredible. Now, of course, you can't order a Rivian with Opal body panels, but Opal was the internal code name for this project and also a really great demonstration of Substrate's capabilities. The base layer models the iridescence, oh my God. refraction, and reflections that occur inside of an Opal. And on top of that is a layer representing oh my God. and how light is absorbed as it travels through that clear layer of varying depth. And now we can add back on the dust. Look at the reflection layer. of the light and how it... And notice how the reflection changes when interacting with the dust layer and that there are no artifacts along the transition from dirt to dust to opal. So Substrate is more expressive, enabling artists to create materials like this this looks like real different life. shading models and compose and layer those materials as they see fit. Look at the tire, the way it's, Head on out, Jacob. it's been like oh, air has been let out so it can it rock crawl easier. So and it, it's, you know, morphing around the rock. The current Unreal Engine shading model costs about the same. But now artists have the freedom to author more complex materials for extremely detailed use cases, like in cinematics and in film. Look at the environment. So we're going to drive under this fallen tree here. And everything that you've seen up to this point was painstakingly hand built by the environment team at Quixel. Everything since that fallen tree. If you told me this was like GoPro footage, I would believe you. Experimental suite of procedural content generation tools. Entirely an engine that are flexible, deterministic, and artist driven. Our guiding principle in building these systems was to empower artists to make tools for artists. So Jacob's going to go ahead and add a procedural assembly to the world. And the cool thing is that it communicates. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's that easy, huh? That, that's game development. You just drag and drop, and all of a sudden, there's the cool that is that incredible. I don't know much about designing games or anything, but so let's say a it looks good. Comes by, wants to direct the player to drive to the left. Jacob can simply move the assembly to the right, and everything updates to accommodate that. Wow. Change. Game design is iterative, so let's say the designer comes back, wants to give the player the choice of going left or right again. Jacob can simply move the assembly back over. Now, the artist who created this assembly that. also added some additional handles that Jacob can use to art direct where rock slides occur. Allows him to customize the piece a little bit more, make it a little easier for the Rivian to drive by. So we started by handcrafting the technology is getting original insane. part of the level to set the visuals and art direction for I want the to see some more game. piece. Oh my God. And then built out procedural tools that allowed the team to create a much larger play space much more quickly. Now let's see how we can use these procedural tools to make larger sweeping changes to the environment. 
So Jacob, let's start by... I don't know if I'm more impressed by the car or the environment. Absolutely. That's easy enough, actually. All right, a little too much. Let's let's add wow. some trees back in. Okay. And let's also add in some cliff formations, give it a little bit more variability. So the procedural systems are all deterministic. And all of this is being like with different sets of input parameters. Just generated in Once real time. The set that he likes, he can always go back to it and get out exactly the same results. And the procedural systems aren't just placing trees and rocks, but also fog cards, bugs, birds, everything that's needed to bring this environment to life. And everything that you've seen here works at scale. This environment is four kilometers by four kilometers. If we hide all of the procedural elements, we can see that original hand-built area, about 200 meters by 200 meters. We believe that there will always be wow. a need for hand-built environments. Just... So we designed these procedural systems to be tools for artists that work in concert with hand-built content. Both Substrate and the new procedural tools will be available in experimental form in 5.2. And everything you've seen here is running in the Unreal Editor in real time on a developer machine with an Intel 13900K CPU and NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPU. So Jacob, thanks for being here and helping us out wow. today. So all that's running on a high-end but normal system right there. I'm gonna be honest, most of that is way over my head. I am not a game developer. I'm assuming most of you guys aren't either. Just kind of wanted to see what was going on here. A few days ago, we checked out the Unrecord gameplay trailer, which is also built in Unreal Engine and just absolutely mind-bending. So when I saw this in my recommended, I had to check it out. This just looks incredible. And I'm, this gets me so excited, man. Like I, the future of games is insane. Look at this and tell me, like, think about SnowRunner. When we played SnowRunner back in the day and how fantastic that game was. And honestly, graphically, it was pretty good. Think about that but made in this engine. And just look at how realistic this looks. Look at the way the truck is interacting with the environment and bouncing around. And like we talked about the tires and the reflections and the everything else. Think about open world driving games. Forza Horizon 5, for example. That game is absolutely beautiful. That has to be the best, most visually stunning, and honestly, one of the best playing open world driving experiences in video game history. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of crazy to think that came out back in November 2021. So it's even starting to get a little bit old at this point, but it's it's still stunning. We just played the off-road, you know, rally DLC, and I was still blown away by it. And this is better. I don't want to say it's like monumentally better because that might be a, a bit of an exaggeration, but it's definitely significantly like noticeably better when you look at this gameplay here. And, you know, keep in mind, this is recorded footage of a video that was uploaded to YouTube. So it's it's going to look even better when we actually get our hands on it. it it's just it honestly, it's insane for, for you know, driving games, whether you're off road, on road, on the track or anything. Think about like a Jurassic Park game. Or, you know, I'm thinking about our uh, Jurassic World when we're like out in the Jeep and we're hunting through the, the jungle to be able to find dinosaurs to tranquilize and bring back to our park. Think about things like that, but like with this. Th think about outrunning a T-Rex in your Rivian going through a jungle like this. Like it, It's just insane. The possibilities are limitless. And I, I truly feel like we are really on the cusp of something crazy. I think we're about to take the leap into the next generation of next generation. You know what I mean? Like this is a pretty big graphical jump and I'm very excited for the future of video games. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Very, very excited for this. I want a new driving game, man. Hopefully they can come out with something soon. I'll see you guys later. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Peace out.